It says we are live. What's up, everybody? Happy Thursday. Yes, guys. Happy Thursday. Hopefully, you guys are doing well. Good, having a good week. You know, weekend on its way. Oh, man. I'm looking at the scores from last week, and I'm just feeling sad. Speaking of which, I have to do that. I'm going to do that real quick. See how we did. And, oh, and yeah. interesting game tonight. Aaron Jones going to play. Oh, I know. It, I picked up Irvin. Uh, thank you, Devin, for the suggestion because I'm looking at my running backs like this looks disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it just it looks bad. You know, I have I have Gibson and Jones, and we have multiple flex spots on our team, so it's like I'm starting a lot of wide receivers. <laughs> yep. But yeah. What's what's going on with you? How has your week been so far? Just peachy, 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 you know. I, members only live tonight, guys. I promise I won't fall asleep. Well, I'll Maybe. do my best. I'll do my best. <laughs> no, it's a, good, it's a good week. Good week. Um, a lot of hot topic stuff coming in. The spicy oodles and um, oh, what is it? Uh, Ozzy Osbourne, Black Sabbath is shipping. So people that did all pre-orders for those. What's the gold one with the the guy with the guitar and the... Like, that is uh, a Lemmy from. Um, damn, I have him sitting around here somewhere. I couldn't think of what that one. Was. Lemmy's his name. Uh, someone's. It's it's a band. Uh, Motorhead. Motorhead. Yeah, I'm sure. You got me. I don't know. I know the they did a uh, they did an entrance song for a, a professional wrestler. Other than that, I have no idea who they are. I yeah, I don't know much about music in general. I know a lot of words because I listen to a lot of it, but I don't know this is yeah, no and this band and that kind of stuff. It's, it's like a deep voice time to play the game. Uh, I gotcha. I think that that's Motorhead Lemmy, but that's, yeah, that was that one. Tons of uh, like pop rocks coming. TLC with Chases, Run DMC. Oh, they, I don't, does that concern you? Like the TLC thing? Because I was thinking about that a little bit and if they're going to do entire lines and everything in the line has a chase, it really is going to make – I don't know if it's going to have too many chases or less appeal because TLC is like, yeah, we know the song, but other it, than that. I get the chase, Waterfalls, iconic yeah. song. I'm not sure I may have done chases on it. I think I would have just done regular on that. I, I mean, in the end, I think those are going to be like one of those – Barely over retail chases. That's what I was thinking. It's only three pops, but at the same time, I probably would have just done, if you want to do those, do them as exclusives and just put them at three different places, like Hot Topic, Box Lunch, FYE. Be done with it. I, you could have done that instead of the chase version of it. I, I don't know. That's, I, I don't, uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't see it. It's one of those chases, like, uh, I mean, there's some chases that are like $10 out there. I don't think they'll be that bad because they they have quite the following. I mean, people remember them. Of course, Lisa Left Eye Lopez is you know passed away, but I mean, a lot of pop rocks I hear are coming. You know, one of my favorite is Aaliyah. I've heard they're making an Aaliyah pop. So. I was trying to pry the uh, the Jimi Hendrix with the burning guitar away from Jay over at uh, Unboxing Treasures. <laughs> that's that's one that I like. That is a cool one. That is a cool one. Yeah, that's a cool one. Trying to think what else. SmyCon, you know, for people that love Smy, we got to see Star Wars box opened up. Yep. Yesterday, that was a good one. Got a Star Wars box. I actually don't have any other mystery boxes on the way. So if anybody knows of any bigger boxes, like 100, 200 plus, I'm, I'm looking, looking for boxes. Otherwise, Pokemon. I think, that, I think they're all ge gearing up for that. I think it's the week of Thanksgiving on. It gets, you know, I think we're going to see Chrono. Obviously, fugitive. God knows what they're going to do. How big? It, what's it going to be? Are they stepping it up from last year? I, I hope Toy USA is going to do something. I know they've been doing a lot of auctions and not so many mystery boxes. I'm hoping. I, I, I would hope there. that he's he's saved up and that they they. I think they do that. The week that they do that stuff is always big for them. They sell out immediately. I would highly doubt. Now I don't remember last year. I think it was after Thanksgiving. They did it. Well, it's What's usually like a 12 days kind of thing. Yeah. Where they do a lot of like 
you know, they sprinkle in, you know, here, here's like a 12 noon box surprise mm -hmm. and yeah, all sorts of good stuff like that uh -huh. Uh -huh. i'm sure we'll see that uh curtis i know he did one at black friday last year that was a big one uh will we see i mean pop king paul just released this week you know will we see something from him i don't know it's I don't know. The Empire, I think, blew their load on um, SmyCon, which is a good idea because it it was awesome. Those Freddy boxes were insane. I've seen a couple people open them. Uh, Professor Josh and him did a battle on them. Two awesome ones. So, JJ, I mean, tell me what we're talking like. I know I bought the Nessie. Apparently, he had a Nessie set aside to do a uh, what are they called? Uh, the ones where they curated curated mystery box for me. Yeah, and. I went ahead and bought bought Nessie at a at a his auction actually, <laughs> so he had two of them and uh, he's like, man, I was hoping somebody would outbid you. That that was as high as I was going too, JJ. I was yeah, auctions. Going. You just never you never know, you never know. I know a lot of people starting to auction off the good old uh, what plutonium or whatever Marty McFly. I've seen a lot of people auction that one. Good Lord, did you see YoJ yesterday? I didn't. I saw he sold it. I didn't see what it did go for. Seven hundred and fifty six dollars. <laughs> he had that one and he had a social media Freddy go for three seventy five were wow. the two the two big ones that I saw. But man, I, I he was, get it when you can get it. I mean, uh, I think it's a cool pop without a doubt. I would love it for the collection. I, I myself would not probably pay over two hundred for it. I don't love it that much. Yeah, uh, that's probably where I think it'll end up sitting. Maybe a few years down the road. Two fifty, I think, is about the range of, of that pop. I think a few years down the road. Yeah, they do charge up front. Brian's correct, Nick. Um, yes, they do. Four or five years down the road, maybe that starts to creep up towards the five hundred dollar range. But there's three thousand. A lot. That's, that's a, a good. Lot. That's a good number. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it, it's a it's a cool pop, but it's not like you know, I don't know. It was cool. It's not this. <laughs> it's not it. It's not Cobra Commander. No, it's not. It's not that. No, I mean everything on my desk now is like Robot Devil with violin, the Michelangelo that wasn't even limited with the surfboard, the Cowabunga, Mikey Ninja Turtle. That's a cool. That's a cool one just to keep. Yeah, Larry set me up with one of those, thankfully, because I got a con stickered one. I, everything on my desk is now cool. I, <laughs> other than the, the Pokemon area over here. And until we start opening boxes at least. <laughs> and you never know what we'll what we'll get in this one. Good. We're back to the chrono. Which I, I like Chrono's Black Friday boxes last year were the three hundred dollar ones were good. The two hundred were I don't remember the 200. I don't think were anything like fab. And no, the one I, was, I didn't like if they stay in the area where it's about $50 a pop on average, Chrono tends to be pretty good. Yep. If they drop into that, like $30, $35 range, that's when you start seeing massively yeah. overproduced pops that are overvalued overseas stickers. A lot of the times that's kind of where yep. it drops off. I, I've been thinking about, um, have you thought about Chalice and where you'd be a player at with Chalice? High, two, two to three. I was thinking the same thing. Fugitive, I, I think, is just so good that uh, I probably would, if they stepped, I mean, they stepped it up, what, last year from one grand to 15. I don't know, do they go two? If they go two, I think I I probably would play. Oh, I'm, I'm in on whatever Fugitive's big box is. Hopefully they do it. I would think they would. I think they're one of the only ones that's probably, I don't know if I want to say guaranteed, but like pretty assuredly going to do it because they're the ones who've been around for so long that they have that back room full of goodies and they don't rely so much on picking up collections or, you know, like some of the lesser companies rely a lot on getting those overproduced exclusives that have that specific value to it to make value. I think Fugitive's a little more. We have this stuff. We paid 15 bucks for it, but it's been in that room for, you know, seven years. It'd be interesting to see what, uh, see what they do. I think, what, what was it? 10 boxes last year. 
or 10, 10, 10 or 15 yeah so um who bought i think i i bought one pop couple bought one and there were a few other people that got them as well i think unboxing treasures got one I, I can't remember, but I, all I know is I knew exactly what was in my box when I opened it, so I let it sit there for well into the new year before I opened it. Hopefully, I, you know, prob they'll probably do that again, I would think. But maybe, who knows? Maybe the, you start seeing, I have yet to see in person that Johnny Karate thing. I, I, I got the story behind Johnny Karate. I, I yeah. I got, the story. I, got, I got the story behind what it was. It was a Funko. It was supposed to be like a Funko uh, worker exclusive. That's why there's only 500 of them or whatever it is. Or wait, it's a hundred or five. I think it's a hundred, a hundred of them. Yes. And then it switched. Uh, at some point they decided to switch it to fugitive. So there's like a sticker swap kind of thing on all of them. So, yeah, but I've never seen one, so it's hard to say. Wide world of gaming. Thank you for the super chat. Awesome. And yes, uh, I would definitely play big box. I think both of us love the big boxes. Uh, it's just a matter of, you know, I, I, I don't remember. Curtis, I don't think. Curtis might have done a 1,000. Maybe it was tw I can't remember. I think, I think his was 750. And I, I think you, you saw a whole range of Toy USA. Toy USA's big one was the 1K boxes with guaranteed value i don't know if they do that again i don't know they, they they rely really heavily on traveling around and collection buying and so, it's not the greatest time to do, do it yeah that's i mean i'm sure cody has stuff to do boxes i don't know if he can do 12 days straight of boxes because some of those were i mean they were what a 500 dollars damage box round of like i think there was only five of those each one of us got one of those the 1K boxes were, I think, in the 20s. Yeah. Uh, I still have vivid memories of that godforsaken air bad girl, which just haunts me to this day. What's up, Coat? I don't think it would be so bad now that um, whatnot's in the equation and starting to bring more people into the buying arena for the larger end pops. Uh, I think it's probably a little bit easier to get rid of those those high-end ones where you gamble and you don't hit. Rather than letting it sit there for months and months and taking low balls on Mercari. Yep. Essentially True. what Mercari is, is low ball central. Yeah, I've moved everything over to, to Mercari or uh, whatnot. I have not, I, I haven't sold anything on Mercari probably for two months. Uh, I Nothing Funko related. So I've shown this guy off in, in close circles, but that was <laughs> purchased from Franchise Kicks. On whatnot, or no, this was Smy World. I'm sorry, this was Smy World. I was playing for Kylo Ren Freddy on Franchise Kicks, but we got the Cobra Commander Freddy, 400 piece from Smy that World. Is awesome. It's a good price. I mean, the box is kind of beat, but the front, again, with me, the front looks good. I'm I'm playing. <laughs> Wide world again. The backer, the backer was crazy. It was one of those errors that was an error, but not really an error. And uh, all I was just a nightmare to to unload and sell. I took a bath on it just to get rid of it. I hated that pop. What are you doing? I'm licking my butt, Dad. Cope, great. Um, I could tell you were very tired, and you you filmed a lot of videos that night when you uh, for your thirsty Thursday today. I. I saw it on my uh, homepage as I was getting ready for this, and I moused over it, and Cope just looked like he was like, yep. So, you so, look dead. So, <laughs> so. <laughs> little but previews. We'll have to see, Cope. I, I was very curious. I finally got the Oogie Boogie Pops, or sodas, and I thought the glow was supposed to be the chase, and the glow's the common. That's weird. Which makes me not even want the chase. Yeah. I got the. Uh, I ordered some the other day. I was, I was so excited for hot cash and box lunch money. And as soon as I knew it was starting, I was like, "Okay, help me out. Who's got codes? Who's got codes?" I went straight to Hot Topic. I got two Michelangelos. I got two Samurai Jacks, and I got two. I don't even remember what the third one was, but they canceled all of my sodas except Michelangelo, 
which I'm sure is coming because when I ordered it, it said they only had two left on the website. Yeah, they, they, when, they, when sodas go up on Hot Topic or Box Lunch, they go like that. They go quick. You got to hit some of the uh, – it starts with an A. They always have sodas, but they limit you to only two. Which sucks. Yeah, sodas go really quick on Hot Topic and Box Lunch. They, they don't last. What, especially the ones with chases are like – people are crazy. Yep. All right, well, you ready to uh, do our let's thing? Let's get to some boxes. Yeah, let's get to some boxes. I'm, I'm, I, I don't want to say I'm feeling it. I've been saying that the last few weeks, and I've been losing. <laughs> so, but we're back to the corona. We are, and I still don't know where the dang knife is. Oh, fig pins. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fig pins look really cool. Oh yes, yeah. so did uh, so did the Halo ones. Yeah, yeah, I'm just like, oh no, I get so many fig pins that are just sitting in boxes. I like. Oh, did you did you open your your Mando fig pin set? I did. I opened them so I could add them all to the. Uh, I, I like that they gave that little pin. Uh... You know, the little fig pin logo, Mando. I thought that was cool. And they gave you the, uh, like, sleeves. I thought that that was a really nice touch. Yep. I've got my sleeves sitting over here. I like to keep my box sets in the boxes. That's how I am. But uh, I've been to a few Targets, and they're starting to get fig pins. Like, they're starting to... I even took a picture. I don't know if you saw it, but whole, like, black fig pin to display. There was probably 100 fig pins on it. Yeah, and some of these stores have, like, I know Walgreens has exclusives. There's a couple other places that have exclusives of them. Target's got four exclusives now. I think they got the Yamcha, the All Might, the uh, Goku, and then the Robin from the animated series. <laughs> yeah, my son is now on, since we had Bearded Pop Hunter on Sunday. Mm -hmm. He actually now follows them, and he sees uh, he hit uh, some All Might, and he's like, oh, my God. Oh my exclusive fig pin! I gotta have it. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's the Target one. Yeah. Yep. I couldn't find that. I went to three Targets today and did not see any of those. All I saw. I was every time I go to my Targets, it's like, like I I'll stop by Pokemon. I don't do I know I don't understand the Pokemon. You'll never see me do one on a video, but I get a kick out of seeing it and watching you guys do it. Now I'll look at the stores and it's like, man, I don't know a lot, but I know this stuff in these stores. This this is this isn't good stuff. No, you, you got to catch it the day of, which is why today was big, especially like on the East Coast side of things. I see the websites. They sell out of those. That one set that you had with like the play mat and the, the pins and everything like that. I was like, that's gone. That. that stuff is just gone instantly. The, uh, the elite trainer boxes that come with this guy right here. If I can pick it up. The yeah. Charizard, those boxes are... You got people, I got people who are just, they're like, I don't know anything about Pokemon. What do I buy so I can sell it? <laughs> Champion's Path, Hidden Fates. All right, those are the two. And then you can buy Evolutions, Shining Legends. How's it going, Orn? All right, you want me to go first? You want to go first? Uh, well, I'm the guest, so I'm going to lead it off. You lead it off. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no knives in here. So I'm using one of the sticker removers. Jay, how are you doing? What's up, Jay? All right. Oh, I kind of looked at it, but I don't know what it is. Let's see here. Yeah, Kazi is... We, we like to call it making a flisk or digging it out back there. He's, he's uh, there's also two boxes in that on that chair with him because <laughs> he kept knocking them over. I was like, if you're gonna knock them over, you're gonna lay with them. But I think he's got it. No, oh, no, 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 not yet. No, it's it's like when he goes to the bathroom. We got to make 17 circles before it's cleared for landing. <laughs> oh, oh, I think he's got it now. There, there, he goes. there we go. Good job, buddy. All right. <laughs> We got no sticker on this. It's probably like an office pop. Boom. Jim Halpert. Oh, a with, new one. With, uh, what does he have? What is that? I don't know. What is that? I don't think I've even seen that pop. 
It says six days since our last nonsense. I don't know if I. There we go. Oh. Hmm. All right, another Jim Halpert. If I was pop drunk, I'd be taking a shot because it's got a little tiny tear in the back there. Shouts out to Ed and Heather. I didn't see if they released a video today or not. I, I didn't see one today. I was watching the Chasing Halloween one from last week. Brian says $22. All right, it's the office. There's Brian. Brian confirming that. I will, I will take it. It's the office. For whatever reason, the office... Oh, Lord, the office sodas now come up with the same stuff. The book, the Facebook, the three-hole punch, the golden face. Oh, my goodness. Mi Mystery minis coming. Funko pins coming for the office. God help you guys if you collect the office. <laughs> I just collect Dwight. I love Dwight. Yeah, limiting it to a character I can get. But whew, that's going to that's gonna be a lot of stuff. Would you like to come in here? I have a sticker. Okay. It is boom. Oh, a little Jason Voorhees. Oh, Jason, good old Jason Voorhees. Believe that's a hot topic. I think you are correct with the nice overseas sticker. Yeah, good old Chrono. What did we have to watch? Uh, Halloween last week. My daughter made me watch uh, Friday the Thirteenth Part Three. Sean, those are minis? Yes, minis. Oh, they are minis. I'm sorry. I thought they were sodas. They look like sodas. Office minis, and I think they're coming out exclusive to... They're coming out all over, and then exclusives, I think, to Walmart, I think. Not out yet. I think it's December, I heard. These are Voorhees. The OG is ridiculous. Uh, Brian, Brian's saying 19. Okay. Yeah, pop price guys all over the place, guys. Yeah, it's it's a crapshoot. I was looking to see where it's exclusive to. I would gather it's a hot topic. I think it is. There's four pages of Jason's. There's a lot. He is hot topic. Yes. Hot topic. Trying to preserve the boxes. And gr great early birthday gift last night uh, from uh, Brian. Almost didn't shed a tear, but you could tell it, it hit him. Oh, I, I was like, it's not your birthday. <laughs> yeah. a, little, a little early. That was a good one. It's it's better when you get surprising. Pack of sodas for Christmas. Oh, cool. all the sodas coming out. I really feel for you. <laughs> I think I'm up to like six sodas, two shredders, yeah. like ad icons. All right, no sticker, no sticker. Sean over here. Boom, Tyler Durgan, Durden. Durden. Eight dollars. I did not know there. Did anyone else know how many rules there are to Fight Club? Because it's on the back here. There's a good bit. There are eight rules to Fight Club. If you guys are interested, had to take him to the ER. Had a hard on for four hours. <laughs> I don't know what to say to that. Ah, uh, you know. Hey. Got to get the motor going. Yeah, you, you're supposed to enjoy those while you got them, Bertney. <laughs> Thank you, Nightshade. Look forward to adding Superman Jeffrey to the horde of uh, Toys R Us Jeffreys. Oh, yes, yes. Lori's sending me one, too. I got one from her. Eh, no sticker. Uh, it is... It's a Pokemon. Pokemon. The, the one that was $30 for the longest time. Which I'm sure right now is going to be... Seven. I think seven? I'm going seven. Let's see if I can beat Brian to one. 
Oh, no. six. All the evolutions come up. Is uh, Evie standing? Evie looks like uh, I guess. I don't know. What's the number? Six two six. Why would they put the number on? <laughs> There's no picture of the box. I think it's a no value. Let me let me double Brad, check. Brian's saying he's not seeing a value either. I think it's a no value, so I think you're in at ten, which puts us like Neck and mark. It's close. All right. Come on, I want to get a sticker. Doesn't even have to be a good one. Just give me a sticker. I really need to get a knife. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to order one on Amazon after this. It's getting sad. Throw it anyway. No, you don't throw your Pokemans. You throw little balls at them. If it was BTS, I would have thrown BTS pop. Or Witchy Poo or King or Clinger Clang. I think throw this them. is a shared convention. So. <clears throat> we got... Boom. Ooh. Steve Aoki... That's a cool one. Uh, it's not one I've ever had, and I don't really know a whole lot about this dude. I know he's some kind of artist, right? Uh, or is, is he, he an a artist, or is he a DJ, or is he both? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. His, uh, I'm assuming, well, I guess, I don't know if that's a term table or what. He has a little box. I don't know. Same difference. Yeah, I don't know. SDCC exclusive to Toy Tokyo. You know Pant that. Pantene Pro V. Steve Aoki. Dim. No, that's not it, is it? No, that's not it. Apparently, there's different versions of this. I'm seeing $21. Yeah. Uh -oh. Well, he says, sh Brian says shared sticker has no value. Ugh. Go with the Toy Tokyo one. Okay. It's <laughs> going to eat, eat that one. Yeah. Nobody wants it. <laughs> well, it's, it's, you know, I think until the Masters of the Universe came, I had that sort of Toy Tokyo stuff. Has anybody gotten their Toy Tokyo bundles? Oh, that's a good question. I I have not gotten. I don't even know if Ed said he got two of them. Bye, Cope. All right, Cope. I know I've ordered it. I don't know if I have shipping or anything like that. Oh, let us see. No sticker. It is boom. Gamorian Fighter. Gamorian Fighter. I'm a... Ah! If you didn't see it, you'll know this one because this is a new Mandalorian. This is from Mandalorian Season 2, Episode 1. I have not seen it yet. I'm going to watch both probably tomorrow night. Yes, and it has the, the logo on the back. For those of you who have seen it, you know there's a small scene with Gamorian Fighter. He is... Which I'm going to gather. Brian Saint team. 13, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. All right, so we got a, a little $9 difference here. On one box to go. Boxy's calling dibs. 51 to 42. These aren't, these aren't bad for chrono boxes. Mm -mm. Oh, I can't get this one open. <laughs> see if I can rip it. Sorry for that noise. There we go. It's open. Yeah, yeah, I think they come out at like 3 a.m. or 6 a.m. Friday morning. That is correct. 3 a.m., but I don't know the coast. I do know that last week, during my team meeting, one of my peoples was like, let's talk about Mandalorian at 1 p.m. And I'm like, Who, who's watching it? Like, oh, I got up at like four and watched it. I, I watched it, but it was Friday night, and I'll watch it tomorrow, Friday night. 
That's what I'm going to do, too. <laughs> Goob Neptizzle? What's up? All right. we I got no sticker on this one. It is boom. Batman as Ebenezer Scrooge. That's kind of cool, actually. That's different. What is in the background? Is it a lump of coal? Well, that's sure. No, oh, that's the, the tip of his hat. Oh, it is. Okay, yeah, it's it's connected. I see it. All right, well, we got Batman as Ebenezer Scrooge. I have seen some of these, but I have not seen Joker Santa. I saw Joker as Jack Frost. Six dollars. So, Got to throw one of those. Oh, I would think that would be new. That would at least be, I mean, it's Batman. <sighs> you know? They got they got to find a way for you to win here, Andrew. Just a tip. Uh, I like it, Chef. Just a tip. Although I've seen uh, what those uh, what are they? Black light Batman's and stuff go crazy on Hot Topic. I I didn't even know there were black light Batman's. Yeah, they went on sale last weekend. It was Batman, Joker, and Harley Quinn Hot Topic exclusive black lights. Only one I got so far was Carnage. That's a cool one. That's a cool. I'm one. not wrecked yet, but thank you, Cope. Where, where are we at? Oh, and Cope's. Oh, he sent the wreck. It, we got a fifteen dollar difference, so a sticker may just end this. All right. Yeah, you're super on time, Jay. You're on time for football picks. Yeah, football picks coming. Congratulations on the auction, Jay. Great, great job done. Absolutely. All right. Where, where, what's the difference? 15? 15. All right. I got a sticker. <sighs> mm, I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm thinking NYCC shared. Let's see. It is. Boom. Oh, it's Venkman. Oh, it's Venkman. Uh, which, if you want millions of them, they are throughout Target all over the world. I don't I don't know. Uh 11? Wouldn't I'm surprise. Gonna I'm going to wait for Brian. I see 11. 11. I can tell you they haven't <laughs> they haven't sold in stores. 11. No, even <laughs> I bought the wrong one. I bought the They were putting stickers on stuff that shouldn't have stickers like JJ sent me a zombie Mysterio that was supposed to be glow because it's a Walmart exclusive. Nope. Just common zombie Mysterio with a Walmart sticker. And then I went to buy that pop and I was like, Oh, I see Venkman with a Walmart sticker. I got it. Got home. And I was like, Brian, check it out. And he's like, that's not the exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> like crap. But the wrong one. It's like Bill Murray season at Walmart and they don't sell. It's, this one, the one from Stripes, which is an exclusive, um, and then they. What about Bob, which is the exclusive? And they they don't move. No one buys them. And the Zombie Land one too. Yeah, yeah. Well, or the Walmart Zombie. That's a big one I've seen. I'll take the win, but it comes with the asterisk of Andrew. Let me have the Toy Tokyo price for Steve Aoki. Nah. It's... So there's an asterisk by this one. It works. I, I need a win because oh, it looks like Brian St. Murray's everywhere for his wall. Yeah, Murray's everywhere in Walmart. Although, if you love stripes, the and I don't think it's out yet, the uh, John Candy character, he's wrestling in mud, looks like a really cool pop. Mm. I don't know how much of this I can give away, but there is a custom contest going on, and I have seen what Brittany from cheap and nerdy's custom looks like. And I think both you and me are going to be players. If you're there. Oh, the Oh, Oh, that only gives me, I, I have an idea then it's, I, it is a custom. I I'll, I'll give one more thing away. There are no pops for what it is a custom of. Oh, I think I'm there. It is. It's fan freaking tastic. Do you know what pop they're doing the custom of? 
Uh, no, I wouldn't. I, there's a couple that I think would, would work if I, if it's the character I'm thinking of. It's a, uh, I don't know. Am I allowed? To, <laughs> to, am I allowed to say any more than that? Can I say what the, the custom is of or when the auction is? Dave is saying Friday the 13th. Dave, my auction's on Friday the 13th, homie. I can't be there if that's the, uh, if that's the time. Okay. Yeah, it is the custom of the child. I've not seen Dave's yet. I have only seen Brittany's. But oh, I, yeah, I can see that working. I no, seriously, I, I guys, my auction is next Friday, the thirteenth, at nine p.m. <laughs> it's not just me, but I'm pretty sure Pop Couple is also next Friday. I think they go early and then I go. Grump saying days looks gray. I could imagine. I I want to <laughs> be in on Britney's for sure. I haven't seen any of the others, but uh, okay. So what they do is they do an auction. I don't know if there's a, I don't know if it's for charity. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> That's what I thought it was, Britney. Ah, <laughs> so I think we have a few guesses, but it looks, it's there. Hi, what can I do? <laughs> it's for charity. Um, what are we raising money for this time, guys? It looks fantastic. You want to get in on the, uh, get in on the picks? Yeah. Get that fired up and see. So uh, we both went two and two last week, which brings the records to you are 12 and nine. I am nine and 12. Yeah. Green Bay got me, didn't they? Freaking Green, Green Bay, Bay got you and Tampa Bay got you. Oh, yeah, because they beat the it Giants was, by two. It was ten, they were 10 and a half. You won, we both won on Philly. You won on Atlanta. I lost on Carolina. And, uh, yeah, I won on the Jets. Or, I'm sorry, the Giants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Well, I put some thought into these today. I have no idea who was handicapping the Thursday night game because they're on Maybe drugs. they didn't think so many people were uh, were not playing in this game. But I, I don't believe either one of us are going to be different on this one. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's 90-10. Uh, so, it's Green Bay in San Francisco and... Uh, is two and a half Green Bay's favorite by two. It is a yeah, it's a two and a half. I'm 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 all over Green Bay in this one. Uh, yeah, whether they have Jones, in fact, all I think they would need is Aaron Rodgers. Uh, no Garoppolo, no Kittles, uh, no Ayuk, no other receiver, no running backs. I man, I don't know, and not and four cases of COVID. The guy they had come in, Jeff uh, Wilson in play running back is on IR now too. I know because I put a waiver claim in for him <laughs> on IR. I'm like, what the hell? I do um, think they're bringing uh, Jordan Reed who was on IR and a former Redskin. I think he's playing tonight. Jordan Reed is like a worse version of the way Julio Jones plays with the IR. He Jordan Reed is always questionable always he's always got something wrong with his foot something wrong with his shoulder something wrong with something and he's fan freaking tastic when he plays he but, um, he had some years i remember he was like right there with jimmy graham and and gronk yeah. jones is oh aaron jones is limited yeah that i don't know i don't know uh by the way the charity the auction is going to be from is going to be the local food banks for all the people doing the customs and guys you'll want to check that out uh it looks it sounds like dave's hosting so big dog dave will be hosting david soften in the chat flyers logo last time i spent a hundred dollars and i think i put it where did i put it it's somewhere i can tell you that <laughs> oh where did he go well it was Pusheen's last time that they were doing. I bought a venomized Pusheen from B Cobb. He did metallic paint over the whole thing, and then he did a coat of glow in the dark. The only thing that could have made that better is if he could have resin coated it, coated it for me. Ooh, that would have been cool. 
yeah, that would have been it. Like a clear resin over the whole thing. That's going to be yeah, the 49ers, uh, they're not doing good with COVID. And luckily the uh, Packers are because I think I've heard Green Bay, Wisconsin is like COVID central. Yeah. Who knows? All right. So what do we got next? Sunday night? Sunday night, which will take us to a rematch. Division rivals. The Saints are at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and the Buccaneers are getting four and a half points. I mean, that is, it's scary to think about the amount of people the Bucs are going to have playing in that game. <laughs> <laughs> Antonio Brown makes his, uh, makes his appearance. No Godwin, I believe. Is I think Godwin is still out, but Antonio Brown, Mike Evans, Gronk, Ronald Jones. I mean, everybody is held. Cameron Brait is your backup tight end, is a very strong receiving core there. So. And for whatever I mean, reason, maybe you see Michael Thomas for all of you people that had Michael Thomas in your fantasy lineups or teams, and he is yet to play all year. Supposedly he'll play. And Drew Brees has been, uh, they've held him back in practice for whatever reason. I don't know the story about that. I don't either. I don't care. I'm taking New Orleans to cover the four and a half. Okay. I and, am uh, the performance versus the Giants. I I give Tampa Bay no credit at all. Like that was That was an ugly game. They should have lost that game if it wasn't for Daniel Jones. I think they would have. But Antonio Brown playing a revenge game outside. I'm going Tampa Bay minus the four and a half. It's outside in Tampa Bay, though. I know, I know. But, you know, outside breeze, yeah, it's different. Different. Maybe they'll get some wind kicking up there or something. And then that takes us to Monday Night Football, which I, God knows, uh, is this uh, the New York Jets hosting the, uh, the New England Patriots, and the Jets are seven-and-a-half-point underdogs at home Monday Night Football. Do you dare take the Jets? <laughs> Uh, do I dare believe in Cam Newton? <laughs> I do you think the Jets can stop the run game of New England? I th this is uh, I don't know. As uh, I, I guess I'll do the pick for I'll start it. As a you know, I've been to Jets games, a good bit of Jets games. I have a, a, a buddy who is a very diehard New York Jets fan who would tell me not to do this. However, I'm going to believe in them and believe they can cover seven and a half. I'm taking the Jets plus seven and a half because what? they've got to win because uh, the kid from Clemson basically has nicely told them, go stick it. I'm not playing for you next year if you draft me. <laughs> I'll go back to college. <laughs> I believe that is a Kangol hat on his head. It is. It is a Kangle. Yes. Uh, why? Why am I? Wait. What did I laugh at that you didn't like, Chap? I I'm on New England for this game, so I don't know why you're upset with me. I think Cam Newton gets himself another week by beating the crap out of the Jets with the run game. He could. Uh, Damian. Uh, Damian Lewis or whatever, whatever his name is. Uh, I mean, fast guy. Yeah. I, I don't know. I just, I. It's, it's not going to be the most fun game in the world to watch. It, it's not. It's going to be. I, it's going to be a hard one to watch. But hey, you know, I'll go with it. Grump. Hey, I'll believe in him this week because you know, Trevor Lawrence has nicely said, "Stick it. I will not play for you. I'll go back to college." <laughs> you thought I was laughing at the Pats? I mean, the Pats are not in great shape. No, they're not. It, it, I don't foresee Cam coming back next year. I think they go in a whole different route, rebuild, or whatever they do. But Which is insane, because after like two or three weeks, they were like, oh, he's back to his MVP form. He looks fantastic, blah, blah. Or blah. you never know. Uh, the Jets realize they can't get Trevor Lawrence. The Cowboys are going to suck it up pretty good. They get Trevor Lawrence. Dak's a free agent. Dak goes plays for New England. Who knows? Oh, that's a scenario. You never know. Never know. I doubt it, but you never know. <laughs> and then Zeke yeah. is by himself with a rookie QB. <laughs> and and a, a, wow, a fourth fourth string quarterback they're going to play this weekend against the undefeated uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. <laughs> yeah. yeah, lock of the week. What's the spread? 
Uh, that that would be uh, Dallas or uh, Pittsburgh is a nine and a half point favorites in that game. That's all. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna avoid the easy stuff here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and say lock of the week is my team being as good as I think they actually are with Kyle Allen at quarterback and McLaurin and Gibson healthy and Chase Young playing on that defensive line, I think Daniel Jones turns the ball over probably three times this week, and the Redskins cover the three and a half points. I like that. I like that Daniel Jones is, uh, yeah, not not great. Not great. I, I don't like to pick. I generally don't like to bet on the Redskins, or the Washington football team, or the Browns, or the Packers. Because... Aaron Rodgers gives up. The Browns, you never know what they're going to do. And Washington has just been bad for a long time. So true, so true. So, let's see. My lock of the week. This is a tough one because there's some other ones that I like. And we could we could play the whole Pittsburgh thing, but I'm not going to go there. I think that's going to be an ugly game. Even Pittsburgh, who plays down to their uh, opponents, I don't think can play down as far as they would need to to lose that game. But I am going to go with who I believe will be the MVP of the NFL this year. I'm going to go with Russell Wilson leading the Seattle uh, Seahawks to a victory minus two and a half in Buffalo against the Buffalo Bills. In in the cold in Buffalo. In the cold in Buffalo. Russ gets it done. Yes. I like it. I like Their defense it. isn't great, but... He is uh, he's on a mission this year. Yeah, there's a couple other ones I thought about. I have a good I mean, I have a pretty solid feeling Atlanta is gonna beat up Denver a lot more than than people think they are. I think may, maybe the Vikings are back a little bit with that uh, with Cook back and Stafford uh, in COVID protocol might play, might not. I I need him to play <laughs> just like I needed <laughs> Aaron Jones to play. Uh you know, there's there's a few out there. I'm pretty sure I I almost went with uh, Vegas this week against the Chargers. That's, another one. That's they, a, Houston. Maybe they find their way in Jacksonville. Basically, uh, it came down to I I chose the team that was at home to cover. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Tua, you know, Tua in Arizona. We'll see. Could be interesting. Yeah. I like your comment there, Grump. Seen Penguins with better footwork than Daniel Jones. Yeah, he. Uh, I think they realized after that game, man, maybe we don't have the Eli uh, Eli replacement. No. Quarterbacks are tough. They're tough, finicky. But I think Lawrence is a, is. It's a shame he's not. He won't go play for New York. He hasn't said that, but his people basically have said that. Yeah. Nah, he's he not gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, no problem, LBD. I was happy to pick up the old El Cabong in the auction and there he is jay navo finally making it home after a long eight hour shift of hunting for pokemon and uh what is it mosaics panini Premier, whatever he's after this week targets and walmarts all over the state i'm gonna say it speaking of which jay navo has i think it's sad this saturday uh has a auction going on oh all right and i think I think we'll, we'll see if he puts it out. I've heard, is it a $75 mystery box Sunday? He says I'm trying to, I, I think we both have tried to get him to go Black Friday, holiday, Thanksgiving weekend, a Grail J Navo box. We need one. Let's do it. You got the Grails. Let's do it. Big boy box. Yeah. I'll put the big boy pants on and participate. <laughs> All right, so Saturday, Jay Navo auction. I think Cope also has an auction on Saturday. I think uh, Jay Navo can correct us. I think it's 5 o'clock. I think Cope has an early one again. Headless Ned. Yeah, Cope is is all about it. Only if Sean Ryan buys one. Put put something up I want, and I'll play. He's He's got uh, what, Glow, Emmett Brown, Headless Ned. He's got some grails. How about, how about like... Five hundred dollar guaranteed value box, Jay. Ooh, but how about something like that? And you know, six or less pops. How about that? We'll go with that. 
Yo, Jay saying he's auctioned out for a few months. Yeah, with, without a doubt, guys, uh, for those of you who have ever done an auction or you're going to do one, uh, it is a lot of work. Uh, I, I, I'm not going until the night before uh, how, or, uh, Thanksgiving. I go a month, if not longer, between them. It, it is a lot of work. When you got, especially when you got kids and you got work, uh, it's a lot. Yeah, no joke. It is a lot. But no, it sounds like Toy USA is what it sounds like. Put a put a four thousand dollar pop in that box and maybe five hundred dollar damage box, two hundred return value. Sound fair? Wow, that's even past Toy USA uh, standards on that on that one. Yeah. I was, I was they telling, at least I think you got a shot at three to three fifty. Put a put a Arlia in there. <laughs> Make it a ten box run with an Arlia, and we can talk. <laughs> Jane I have a Toy USA box. Yeah. All right. Well, let's uh, let's go watch some football. Let's watch some football, guys. Uh, any channel members that are here, I will come back at ten thirty tonight, and we'll do um, we'll do some giveaways. I'll give uh, I'll give some of the pins away. Uh, we'll open some stuff ten thirty tonight. I promise I won't fall asleep. That's what he says. I promise I'm actually going to find some food. <laughs> Sean's going to eat and watch some football. Uh, I'm going to go. I think I got to bathe the kid. So. Um, be well, be safe, guys. Enjoy uh, card unboxing tomorrow. You don't want to miss this. Looks like some awesome stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Food there may, Saturday. There may be Pet spots awesome. tomorrow for cards. I haven't designed it yet, but there may be spots open. We'll see. There we go. America. Awesome stuff, guys. Be well, be safe. For those of you channel members, I'll see you tonight. Sean will see you tomorrow afternoon, evening. Watch The Mandalorian Season 2. You're going to love it. Uh, stay till the very end. People that haven't watched it, you want to stay at the end. Watch all the way to the credits. Hmm. I will. You will. You'll know what I mean when you see it. All, all right. right, guys. Peace, love. We're out. Cool.